BR-800 did on wet leaves? The answer, very well. It's rained all week. Besides questions on the uh, BR-800 backpack blower, another question that keeps getting asked is, how did the grass turn out on the trail that I built? short answer is not very good it came in great for about a month it got you know maybe two inches high nice and green it was looking pretty thick and the first problem was the deer just decimated it they walked through here like they're at the old country buffet and I read on the internets that uh, deer don't eat fescue well that's not true because because we watched them do it so there was, after the deer, you know, ate everything that they could, there was a little bit left, and then uh, we've got inches and inches of rain. I don't know if it was too much rain, not enough sunlight, could be any of those things. So for this winter, I'm just going to leave it like it is, let the leaves pile up on it. Looks like it's been here for a long time now anyway, and uh, maybe we'll try something else in the spring. But that is the update on the trail. Can't say we didn't try. But anyway, enough about that. We're going to get to uh, today's video. So welcome back, everyone. Mike here. This evening, we're going to take a look at the mechanical thumb on this little backhoe here behind me. This is the RK24 with the six and a half foot backhoe. Now, I have used the hydraulic thumb, you know, quite a bit, actually, on mini excavators and even on bigger excavators. To me, a hydraulic thumb on a mini excavator is a must-have. I mean, if someone is going to buy a machine like that, and not get a thumb on it, a hydraulic thumb, makes no sense to me at all. Kind of like buying a cordless drill and not having any driver bits. You're just using it for just a little bit of what it's actually capable of. But as far as these little mechanical thumbs go, I'm not too sure, haven't used one yet. So we're gonna go down to the wood pile, kind of play around a little bit, and uh, maybe split a little firewood, move some logs around, just to try it out and see how it goes. I got a few boulders down there too, we'll try it out. So here's a closer look at this thumb. Like I said, this is a mechanical thumb. The difference obviously between mechanical thumb and a hydraulic one is there's no hydraulics on this one. Although there are several different adjustments. You can move this pin up here. You can do all sorts of things uh, with it. I have it set right here. I think it's in the right location to go pick up some logs and some rocks and things like that. So we'll try it out. Now having a thumb on any kind of backhoe is definitely gonna open up different possibilities and options for you. Think of your hand for a minute. If you didn't have a thumb, couldn't do a whole lot with your hand. When you got a thumb, pretty helpful. Should be helpful on the backhoe. I did a video a while back on this steel two-in-one sharpener. I'll put it up above. This is by far the easiest method I have ever used to sharpen a chain. Works very well. But check that video out. I'm not gonna go over it all tonight. I don't have time, but Remember the old saws would always, uh, one tank of bar oil, one tank of gas. Nowadays it's more like uh, half a tank of bar oil per tank of gas. Filled it up too much. I hate that. I'm not sure if you've met our daughter, Hannah. Hannah, how old are you? Uh, 22. 22, and this is Hannah's Subaru Crosstrek. 
and I have asked her to do a uh, two-year review on it. So you'll be seeing that in a video uh, coming up soon. Give them a brief rundown on how you like it so far. Uh, so far, I love it. I uh, don't have any major complaints. All right. So she's going to run out right now, but probably in a week or so we'll have a two-year review on the Subaru Crosstrek. So if you watched yesterday's video, this log right here is the one that I was picking up with the uh, grapple on the RK24. Anyway, it measures 8 feet 6 inches long, 16 inches in diameter, it's red oak, and according to a uh, log weight calculator that I think is fairly accurate, it should weigh 714 pounds, give or take. So cutting this thing up for firewood into 16 inch pieces, we will get one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of this. Now, so each one's going to weigh over 100 pounds, maybe 115, 119 pounds per piece. Now, if you're like me, I cannot stand, you know, running a log splitter sitting on a bucket. I like standing up and leaving it horizontal. A lot of people like, you know, it the other way. Not me. My back can't handle it. I can stand up all day, pick up heavy things, put on the log splitter. No problem at all. So I like splitting in a horizontal mode. But anyway, so like I said, each piece of this is going to weigh 119 pounds. Now there's one thing every one of us have in common, and that is we're not getting any younger. So I'm going to go get the RK24, bring it down. We'll cut this up and maybe uh, toss some of these logs around with that uh, mechanical thumb on the back and see how it goes. <laughs>
So even though I didn't have a whole lot of time this evening, the little time that I did spend using that thumb, I'm pretty impressed. It's a pretty slick little unit. Now, does it compare, you know, to a mini excavator with a hydraulic thumb? Absolutely not. However, you know, a 10, 12,000 pound mini hoe, you're probably looking at $80,000, $85,000. I'm not even sure what they cost right now. And not too many people are gonna have a mini hoe sitting around with a thumb, you know, for maintaining your property and cutting firewood. But tons of people have subcompact tractors like this RK24. So if you don't have a mechanical thumb, it may be something you may, you know, wanna look into. I'll be using it a lot more. But so far for cutting firewood, things like that, it's pretty handy. Now I have a question. Uh, I know here in the comments, you know that log splitter stands up vertical. Yes, I know that. I, uh, I can't stand sitting on a bucket splitting firewood. I can stand all day long, you know, splitting wood, standing up. Sitting down hurts my back. Some people like it the other way. So in the comments below, let me know how you split firewood. You know, with your log splitter vertical or horizontal. I'm guessing it's going to be about a 50-50 mix in the comments, but we'll see. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.